Hey what's up guys, today I'm gonna to remove the FRP of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 As you can see that's the Samsung logo and the Galaxy Note 8 logo So what do you have to do, as you can see that this device was reset to continue Sign in with a Google account that was previously synced on this device So as you can see I'm going next and it's nothing new So what you have to do is that you have to go back to your home screen Here you have to install a sim with a code okay the sim should have code uh, i have already inserted it a little bit for your guidance and for the fast one okay you have to insert it see it is asking for the code what you have to do is that you have to not attempt any of the password what you have to do is that you have to just eject your phone sim card just like this and just power off and when you will power on you will have this screen should i do again okay i'll do it again for your guidance and for compulsory work okay as you can see that there's thing i have to insert it first of all i have inserted okay now it's asking for password what i have to do is that i have to eject it just like this and i have to just power of my phone and power on. Now what you have to do is the easiest method is that you have to go to the <coughs> you have to go to the lock. Okay now the notification settings. Now what you have to do is that you have to see all. In the most recent you have to select to all and you have to swipe down until you see the YouTube. Now the in-app notification settings. Now what you have to do is that you have to go to the history and privacy, YouTube's terms of services. Now it's the Chrome open. Now what you have to do is that you have to accept and continue. And next, and no thanks. Now it's YouTube.com open. You have to just simply go to the V and Rome bypass. There's the second one, you have to go through it. Okay, now the first one, you have to go to the first one. It will take some time. Now what you have to do is that you have to carefully install the Android 8 to 9 Google Account Manager APK. First one, Chrome needs storage access, you have to continue it, allow it. Okay, it's installing it in the downloads. It's not working now, so we have to install Quick Shot for America first. I think there's a problem. This is not upcoming, okay, for the OK option. That's why. It's not doing. So what we have to do is that we have to go and we have to install the Google account manager or Technocare. Technocare APK and the first one. We have to go in the first one, Android file host. Click here to start download, select it. It's searching for mirrors. You have to simply download the primary download and you have to OK it. There was a problem with that website, so just leave it. Okay, now go to download. It's downloading it. Okay, so we have to now download the quick shortcut maker until it downloads. Right, quick shortcut maker and the second one. Okay, now swipe down until you see the download APK and you have to download it. Okay, this type of file and okay. Okay, now it's downloaded. But first of all, 
we have to install the TechnoCare APK, which was in the downloads. It's downloading, it should take some time because it's some kind of big file, large file. Okay, it's downloaded now. You have to install it. Settings, allow from the source. You go back, next, and install it. It will take some time because it's last file. Okay, now it's done. You have to not open it. You have to done it. Okay. Uh, sorry. Done. Now you have to install the quick shortcut maker. Install it. Okay, now you have to open this thing. Now you have to search for the settings. Okay, in the applications. Uh, application is not working, so just go to the settings by finding it. Did you see the settings? App. Ah. SAT. That's the, this one. You have to select the first one and try it. Now it's your setting app opened now. What you have to do is that you have to go to the biometric, biometric. biometric and security. Now in here you have to go to the other security settings. In this thing you have to go to the device admin apps and you have to disable the find my device. Deactivate. Okay, it's now deactivated. Now what you have to do is that you have to go to the you have to go to the apps. Here it is. Okay. Now what you have to do is that you have to search for the Google Play services. As you can see, it's there, and you have to just disable it. When it's disabled, you have to go back. Again, go back. Now you have to go to the accounts. Accounts and backup. In the accounts, add account, and you have to simply add an account what you remember, not that was previously signed in. Signed in, okay. In your phone, I am writing any of my account. Okay, it's my another password turn. Okay, I agree. Okay, now it's done. What you have to do is that um, close that. Okay, go back, go back. You have to go to the apps. It's compulsory. You have to go to disabled. Okay, and you have to enable the Google Play services. Okay. Okay. It's enabled now. Okay. Okay. Now it's enabled as you can see. Okay. I would see it in the apps also because it's compulsory that you would enable it. Now what you have to do is that restart your phone. Okay. Just simply restart it and again. It's a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Starting Android. Now what do you have to Let's do is that... Let's get started. Okay. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding you through the steps. No, I don't Let's want look at the terms and Okay, next. You can restore the Skip this for and now. Contents from your... uh, next.
it's checking for updates and starting updates. It will take some time. Please be patient. Okay, now as you can see that it's account edit. Ki aap it eight fifty one, which I have account edit. Okay, now just go to next. It's getting your account info. Just to sync. And you have to just don't destroy it. You have to not now. Skip anyway. Just a second. Okay, now you have to. No thanks, sir. Okay, continue. Okay, you have to accept it. You have to OK it. It's ending, finishing, touch. This may take a few minutes. It's working on it. Okay, just close it. Okay, uh, and you have to skip. To get the most out of your skip it. All right, we're all, all right. set. Okay, uh, and we are all set now. As you can see, that's the phone with a bypassed Samsung account. It was the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. As you can see in the... Oh, this is some kind of doing some problem. You have to just uninstall it. Okay. Go to the Techno Care and search for it. That's here. You have to uninstall it because it's doing some trouble. When it's done, you, as you can see that, it's the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and N950N. So be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. Peace on.